what's going on when it's toned up so I just want to show you uh, this massive lock splitter that I built a few years ago uh, it's upright lock splitter uh, I have platform each side and you also have the uh, cable driven uh, hydraulic lift um, so you can lift like large uh, rounds onto the um, countertop and I want to be hands free I've installed the uh, control right by my foot area with the lever so I can control it using my foot so here's a couple of problems that I ran into because stupid me you know like I left the machine out there in the rain I uh, didn't cover it up so water got into the uh, muffler and went into the cylinder mixed with, mixed with the oil that's issue number one uh, number two is the um, the hydraulic pump connected to the uh, motor the coupler with the low rubber uh, lovejoy meet together uh, is shred to pieces so I need to fix that as well so to make the job a little easier I'm gonna remove the engine from the lock splitter and bring it by my garage and work on it from there I'm gonna remove everything so I can get to the uh, cylinders uh, to check for corrosion
So far, both cylinders, uh, they look very good, very clean, no scratch. Uh, and the gaskets, I can reuse them. They're in good shape as well. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, oil drain plug and see what we got inside. That's water pouring out of it. So the bad news, you know, I knew there's water inside the uh, engine. I mean, I already flushed it one time, just use oil. And the good news is uh, I never ran the engine with, you know, water inside. So this is the first time I'm cleaning it out and try to get it to running condition. So um, let's hope there's no rust, anything like that, that inside the engine. So my plan is to pour some gasoline in the oil compartment and just shake it and try to get as much of the uh, gunk out of there. And uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I don't want to tear the motor apart just for that. I think that will work. Once I get the engine running, you know, I'll just warm it up and use it for a little bit. Then I'll change the oil out and put some fresh oil in there. Maybe I'll do a couple times. It looks like coffee with a little creamer in it. Let me go and put the plug back in there and put some more gas in and shake it up.
So far it looks good. Uh, the water is pretty much clean out. However, there are probably still some in there that is like oil and, and uh, water mix. Um, you kind of like spoil your milk if I stuck in there uh, somewhere inside and I just need you to uh, try to shake it and see so you can pour it out. If not, then you know after running the engine you, you get it gets hot in there and that's a good time to change it out. Over the filter, you know, we move some of them as well. The uh, water came through the uh, exhaust uh, into only one of the cylinder and passed the ring and went all the way to the bottom of the engine. And so the um, oil filter is still clean, there's no water in there. So that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, put everything back together and get this engine running. Before I put it back together, let me go and spray some uh, lubrication on each cylinder. This will help the uh, piston and the ring move freely inside the cylinder. These two rods right here, the silver aluminum looking one go to the exhaust and the other one go to the index eye.
Let me go ahead and put the uh, carburetor uh, cover and the air filter back in there and fire it up and see how it goes. All right, it's alive. I'm glad it's working because uh, I got a lot of wood to split. And um, during those time I was running this engine, I noticed a couple of things. Um, some of my oil line, they've been sitting out of the sun for so long, they become brittle, it cracked, I didn't notice it, and I got oil leaks. Uh, one of them replaced it. Oh, what? You notice my new headgear? Yeah, I'm very stylish today because I'm um, pimping and easy, you know. Got to do some lock splitting. Here, yeah, let me give you a quick demonstration on the uh, how the the lock lift how it works. There's a steel cable connected to the lift, go all the way up to a pulley and come down to the cutting blade here where I weld uh, a lash to it. You can unhook it if you're not using it. Let's go split some wood. The reason I built this way here because um, I've been like sitting down, lock splitting with my other lock splitter and just hurting my back. So this way I can use it standing up. I'm using two hands. I have more control of the lock I'm splitting and I can leave you know, the loose pieces on, to the, uh, on the countertop right here. And it's uh, very handy. Well, I hope you enjoy this long video. If you do, uh, please click the like. If you're new to my channel, uh, please subscribe. And I got another question for you guys out there. Uh, my motor is running, I believe, a little rich because it's shooting out flame out the muffler. Um, if you know how to resolve this problem, uh, leave a comment below because uh, I'm trying to figure it out why is it like burning a lot of gas and. Uh, shooting out flame. It's kind of cool at nighttime, you know, you see flame flying out the muffler.